Welcome to Math and Meditation. In this video, we're gonna look at the initial steps and ideas of doing algebra. Um, but as usual, we will start by relaxing our body. And we will start by relaxing one part at a time. We'll do this by taking deep breaths. And on the out breath, we'll relax one part at a time starting with our feet. On the second out breath we will relax our legs. Then our hips and stomach. Then we'll relax our arms. Then we'll relax our chest and shoulders, neck. And finally, we'll relax our head. Now, with a more relaxed mind and body, we will start to focus on the algebra. So uh, let's consider the problem of uh, a magic number. So we have a magic number and we take that magic number and we add 2 to the number and the outcome is 4. So the question we are faced with is what was the magic number that we started with? I'll repeat this one more time. So we start with a uh, magic number, we add 2 and the outcome is 4. So in mathematical terms, this is the magic number which will denote as A. And we add 2 to the magic number and the outcome is 4. So a natural starting point here would be to ask what can we replace A by so that this adds up? And it's easy to try. So we can try 0, which gives us hmm. this uh, accidentally got in here. So let's try to erase this. Ah, let's just try to write this again. I don't know why it's playing games on us. Uh, so a plus 2, the magic number plus 2, is equal to 4. So we can easily see that if we replace the a by 0, this is not going to add up. We get 0 plus 2 equals to 4, and that's not true. So we can try the next number. Let's try a equal to 1. We get 1 plus 2 equal to 3. That's not it. Let's type true. We get 2 plus 2 equal to 4. So uh, we know that the right answer here is a equal to 2. But what we want to do is that we want to come up with a systematic way of figuring out what the unknown number is. So uh, let's look at this from that point of view. So we have a plus 2 equal to 4. So the idea in algebra is that we have the equal sign and uh, what's on the right hand side is equal to what's on the left hand side. 
and we can do anything we want on the left hand side as long as we also do it on the right hand side so since the two sides are equal in the beginning if we do the same operation on both sides they keep staying equal so in this particular setting here we can subtract 2 on both sides so we have a plus 2 minus 2 equal to 4 minus 2 so what we've done here is that we have subtracted 2 on both sides now if we go ahead and uh, carry out the calculations so 2 minus 2 is 0 so on the left hand side we are left with a and on the right hand side we are left with 4 minus 2 which is just 2 so now if we complicate this a little bit further we can uh, do more complicated operations on our magic number so we start with our magic number a let's say that we multiply it by 6 we add to that a number let's say 4 we can divide that by let's say 3 and the total is equal to 10 so um, now um, how can we go about changing this so that we have just the magic number on one side and everything else on the other so the only thing the only rule we need to follow is that we need to do the same operations on both sides so now this number three here is kind of um, in our way we want to move that away from the side where the magic number is so uh, to remove a division we do the opposite operation to division which is multiplication so what we start by doing is that we multiply both sides by 3 so we have 6 times a plus 4 divided by 3 everything times 3 and we need to do the same operation on the right hand side so we have 10 times 3. Now division and multiplication cancel out. So the 3 here cancels out the 3 here. And we're left with 6 times a plus 4 equal to now 10 times 3 which is 30. So now the next thing we want to eliminate is the 4 here. So since this is plus 4, the opposite operation of plus is minus. So we subtract 4 on both sides. So we have 6 times a plus 4. Then we subtract 4. And we need to do the same thing on the other side of the equal sign. Now 4 minus 4 is 0. So on the left hand side, we are left with 6 times a, equal to now 30 minus 4 is 26. So we have 6 times a equal to 26. Now 6 times a is multiplication. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. So uh, we can divide by 6 on both sides. So we have 6 times a divided by 6 equal to 26 divided by 6. Now the multiplication by 6 is cancelled out by the division by 6. So those two cancel out, leaving us with a on this side. And on this side we have 26 divided by 6 6 divided by 6 but now we can simplify this fraction a little bit we can divide 
by 2 both in the denominator and the numerator. So if we do that, I divide 2, divide by 2, then we get 13 divided by 3, which is the same as 4 and 1 third. So we have figured out what the matching number needed to be in the beginning for this equation to hold true. So uh, thank you for uh, staying with us for this session and I hope you will join us for the next one. Bye-bye.